wondering how to buy a home in a competitive market? Hi, my name is Sharice Walker, owner of Shocker Properties and an equity real estate advantage agent. Now, let me tell you how to win in this market. Homes for $350,000 and under are tough to buy right now. There is too much competition and multiple offers are the result. So, let's talk about the three strategies to get you into a home. First, use an agent. As a buyer, the seller usually pays the buyer's agent, so why would you not be represented by an expert? Be aware though, the buyer's agent may ask for 3% commission, and many listings right now are going for 2.5% and less. So unfortunately, some agents only show you homes offering the 3%. So this is actually a violation of your buyer's agency agreement, so don't work with an agent like this. I have committed myself to showing my buyers all of the homes out there, no matter what. So agents won't admit it that they do this, so talk with them and come up with a plan to ensure that you see all of the homes available on the MLS. In addition, you need someone skilled at negotiation. I am one of 4% of agents in the country that has a Master's Certified Negotiation Expert designation. It's a mouthful. To help you understand, there are 9,400 agents in the Salt Lake market, approximately. So I am one of 376 that have taken advanced training to best negotiate on your behalf. So ask your agent to show you their designations. I have tricks up my sleeves that some aren't aware of because of my training. Sorry, I'm not gonna share this unless you're my client. Number two, get pre-qualified for a mortgage. Before you even begin looking at houses, get pre-approved for a mortgage. I'd actually recommend you get pre-qualified so you have already gone through the underwriting. This saves a lot of time. So some lenders can close in two weeks instead of four. This may be attractive to the seller and get your offer approved above others. Also, an experienced and competent agent will not work with you if you're not pre-approved because they don't want to get through the whole process and then find out you can't even qualify. This wastes your time and theirs and get your hopes up. A seller's agent will not even look at your offer if you're not pre-approved. Most of them at least. So save yourself time and disappointment by speaking to a mortgage professional today to get the ball rolling. Just pause this video and do it now. That is how important it is. And if you don't know who to call, contact me and I will give you options. I have great lenders out there. Number three, make them an offer they can't refuse. Once you're pre-approved and found the home of your dreams, you are ready to submit an offer that they would have a hard time turning down. So keep in mind there are four main items that sellers look at in an offer, and I will speak to each of them. So the first one is purchase price earnest money, closing date, and concessions. So the purchase price, although this depends on the time of year and the price of home, for the most part, the days of lowball offers are over, especially if your price point is under 350,000. Believe me, I have worked with several buyers who put too much emphasis on the purchase price. So remember that this market is changing as much as 10% per year. So adding up to an average of 20 to $30,000 in equity per year. So finding over a few thousand in the big picture is pointless. In addition, for every $1,000 in price on a mortgage or purchase price, it's about $6 more per month on a mortgage payment. When you're listing a home, there are two thoughts. First, list the home low to get a lot of offers, or two, make it high and hope someone bites. Remember that when you're deciding on a purchase price, the seller has chosen one of these two options. So with that said, make sure your agent does their homework and looks at the comps and then discusses them with you. Offer a fair and slightly higher offer to be attractive. Number two is earnest money. This is important for two reasons. First, to show good faith to the seller and if you back out after the due diligence or financial and appraisal dates, they get to keep your money. But it also protects you because if they back out, you get to get that money and match it. It also goes towards your down payment. So ideally, it should be about 1% of the purchase price, but in this market, it's about $1,000 to $5,000, depending on the purchase price. Number three is closing date. If you can close quickly on a vacant home, the sellers would be attracted to your offer. Be flexible and make it attractive to the seller. Number four, concessions. Seller can pay closing costs and repairs, but this becomes less attractive. Talk with your lender about down payment and closing cost options. It is possible to get into a home with no money down. So contact me to find out more if you're interested in these options. So the three strategies again, hire an agent. Number two is get pre-qualified. Number three, make them an offer they can't refuse. 
I wish you the best in finding a home and getting it under contract. If you have any questions or are considering buying in the near future, don't hesitate to call me. My name is Sharice Walker and I'd love to help you have a shockingly amazing real estate experience.